Ooh, of the smoke. Dominate choke. Ice, ice. My bro. What's good, my nieces and nephews of Homie Gang? Yo, Uncle is back again with another video today. And look, 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 look. I got the most toxic meta shooting lockdown build for y'all on NBA 2K23. 6-7 by the way, 6-7 meta shooting lockdown, you feel me? Very, very toxic, very, very toxic, and it can do it all, you feel me? What I need for y'all to do is to like the video, leave a comment, leave a comment, leave a comment of late mama, subscribe if you are new to the channel, you feel me? We are on the road to 60,000 subs on this channel, make sure you hit that sub button. Also, go follow my second channel, the Uncle HK channel, you feel me? Go follow my second channel, the Uncle HK channel, you running it up over there, we finna hit... 10k over there and we finna be super 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 back active on there hella uploads is gonna be posted on there all right i don't want to hold y'all's time up any much more longer let's get into how to make this 67 meta iso not iso meta shooting lockdown build all right, all right first things first you want to go position point guard i like all my builds all my shooting builds left-handed so you point guard left-handed jersey number two because god is first everything else is second in my life so i go with jersey number two the height you want to go with six seven like i said it's a six seven lockdown build demonized demonized right here six seven lockdown build for the for the weight you want to go 191 oh shoot for the weight you want to go 191 <clears throat> wingspan seven four wingspan you are a lockdown so you want to have the max wingspan and we want that 99 steel, okay? You want to go with the 7-4 wingspan to get the... You can get them pluck steels, better pluck steels, and you can get in them lanes better, you know what I'm saying? With your, hand, with your, your arms longer, you get in them lanes, and you can get them more pluck steels, all right? For the body type, I always go slight with all my builds, because like I said, I feel like the burly builds, the big builds don't look good, and like the compression shirts and the hoodies and all that, so I always go with the slight body type, all right? Now, enter the build, and I'm going to break down to you why I pick each attribute you feel me for each category you know what i'm saying <clears throat> into the build all right so you want to go your close shot 49 close shot you don't really need a high close shot nobody really takes close shots in this game and if you do they still go in regardless driving layup is 69 and then a driving dunk we have an 80 we have an 80 oh i wanted an 86 this i accidentally put an 85 we want an 86 so we can get that limitless takeoff on gold yeah go 86 so we can put that limitless takeoff on gold and you can get you get all the safe dunks with 86 you get all the safe dunks <clears throat> and you unlock front clutches and uh quick drops them is the two most op dunks in the game the only dunks you really even need and really you don't even need an 86 you can you can pass off for an 80 you can pass off for an 80 you still get limitless takeoff on silver and all that but i love having limitless takeoff on on uh on gold i feel like it's a cheat code and you still get all the safe dunks on 82 and we have our driving layup low because we don't want it we want to get dunks we don't want to get layups layups get blocked easily all right now for our three point shot we went with an 85 overall three point shot the max three point shot you can get on this build we have a 70 overall mid range and a 60 overall <clears throat> free throw you know three point uh a shot gives you a silver limitless and all the catch and shoot badges you need not hard to shoot and uh not hard to shoot when you find your right jumper and you get 18 potential badge points that's all you really need on a lockdown all you're really doing is shooting from the corner of the wing and most of the time you're shooting catch and shoot shots you're not really shooting shots where you have to run and shoot or dribble and shoot you're not really shooting shots where you have to dribble and shoot so really you just need an 85 three-point shot and then 18 potential badge points you feel me then then you, you can pass with that all right, for your pass accuracy, you want to go with a 70 pass accuracy. 70 pass accuracy. That's all you really need for silver needle threader so the ball can get through, uh, to get through, uh, so your passes can get through, uh, no matter what. And then your ball handling, we went with 50. And this is the reason why I went with a 50 ball handling. Because you get bronze vice grip. Bronze vice grip. You are 6'7". Oh, shoot. You are 6'7 with a high rebound. You are 6'7 with a high rebound. This build has a high rebounding, okay? 
Uh, I haven't put it on there yet, but you're going to see in a minute. This build is 6'7 with high rebounding. And whenever you get them rebounds, it is essential to have a little bit of ball handling and to have vice grip. Because y'all know people, once you get the rebound, how easy for it, it is for these guards to spam or these lockdowns if they're down there to spam you after the, you get the rebound and you have a low ball handling, the, you, you get stripped easily, super, super easily. So having a 50 uh, ball handling on top of having vice grip on, gonna save you that hassle of getting ripped so easily all right now <clears throat> speed with ball our speed with ball we got a 37 speed with ball that's all you really need you're not really gonna be dribbling or doing anything of that sort on this build <clears throat> what do we have next all right an 83 interior defense is all you really need interior defense is pretty ass in this game but if you stand in front of somebody and they do something dumb you're gonna you're gonna get the contest but 83 interior defense 97 perimeter defense so we can get that clamps so we can get that clamps on a uh, hall of fame you really don't need it any higher you don't need it at 99 or anything like that because it's really pointless all you need is clamps on hall of fame you still get the bumps all the same our steel is a 99 so we get the plucks y'all know how in this game the plucks are very very op even though they nerfed them a little bit it's still very op to get the plucks if you reach for the ball at the right time we want to get an 87 overall block to increase our chase down because y'all know, bro, every guard in this game is runs and dunks, runs and dunks. 99% of guards run and dunk. They barely take any threes. They take like three threes a game. You feel me? Most of the time they're boxed up and they're just going to go run and dunk. This is going to help you get more chase down. All right. For the offensive rebound, we went with a 77 offensive rebound so we can help out our center. If we got to come out the corner, like our guard shoots in the center's uh holding the screen up top and we got to come out the corner and uh potentially get a rebound that's why we got a 77 overall offensive rebound to help our center out on the boards 92 off defensive rebound you feel me as well to help our center out <clears throat> on defense if we run down you feel me or if the ball bounces, y'all know how the ball be bouncing off the rim and going far you have a 92 offensive rebound you low key can play center on this build you're six seven most uh centers are like six eight most centers are six eight you're six seven with a high defensive rebound and a pretty decent offensive rebound so low-key if you wanted to you could like play center in, in this build if you wanted to you feel me for the speed we went with 87 overall speed so we can keep up with these guards on uh on uh on defense you know guards be having like that 95 acceleration they had the speed boost but 87 overall speed and once you hit uh once you get gym rat you're gonna have a 91 overall speed you're gonna be able to keep up with them pretty well all right our acceleration 83 overall acceleration strength you can leave at 50 uh 58 see i'm gonna go ahead and put at uh 95 and then we're gonna put our our vertical vertical we did have at a 75 with 70 72 will do you fine 72 will do you fine this is to help you get off the ground uh higher so you, so you can get an in, uh, increased chances of getting chase downs all right and then you want to just go ahead and put your free throw all the way wait let me see if we had any you can just put your you can put the rest on your strength and what is right there 9 18 5 and 31 and if you finish your quest to get the plus four extra badges you can go ahead and put that on defense if you want or shooting or or more finishing if you want but i'd say just put it all on defense the plus four and defense because you're just mainly going to be playing lockdown you're mainly going to be playing defense all right now for your primary takeover you obviously of course you want to go lockdown defender you are locked this is this lockdown defender uh takeover helps you in, increases you getting bumped uh, on people and then you want to go spot up shooter so when you're in the corner or you're shooting from a, a top of the key or if you run to the wing or anything like that you'll be able to knock them down all right my player builder is complete <laughs> my player builder is complete and we got three and d point three and d point make sure y'all like up the video leave a comment leave a comment leave a comment if leave your mama subscribe if you are new to the channel this is the most overpowered meta lockdown build on nba 2k 23 uh, best shooting lockdown build as well very very toxic all right into the badges the best badges to use for this build you want to go pro touch on bronze pro touch on bronze helps you whenever you do get that layup or something and you get a you get a slightly early slightly late it will go in this increases that by a lot go ahead and put on pro touch pro touch limitless takeoff is essential helps you get them them dunks from far um <clears throat> slithery finisher and you can go ahead and put on posterizer you can go up, put on posterizer and fearless finisher this helps you get uh this helps you absorb contact and finish at the rim all right um 
for your shooting badges. Shooting badges, you want to go catch and shoot. <clears throat> green machine. Uh, green machine. Oh, did I put green machine on? Green machine. I put a midi magician on actually. Green machine, you can go gold or silver, but I feel like silver is the sweet spot. We're going to be fine with silver, but if you want to in increase your chances, get more greens. But I really feel like silver is good enough, in my personal opinion, and just put on gold or silver. Volume shooter, we put on silver, increases our um increases our uh, shot percentage after we take like two, it's after like two shots, increases your shot percentage, and then we got amped all the way up. <clears throat> uh, just in case, just in case we gotta run out to the wing, or like our our guard is boxed, we gotta run out to the wing, or run to the top of the key, or wrap around. Uh, when we're tired, we'll be able to still knock down down them shots. Um. Clutch shooter on bronze. This is very, very good for late game moments. You will hit your shots. You will, will hit your open shots with clutch shooter on. All right, dead eye. You want to go ahead and put that on in limitless range. Dead eye. You want to put on just in case you, the, the the person that's guarding you in the corner, the guard that's guarding you in the corner. Most guards are small. Just in case they they're slagging off and you shoot and they get like a small nine, ten percent contest or anything like that, it's not going to really affect you. And then limitless range, uh, just so we can hit from deep. Like I said, if we go to the top of the key. We have to wrap one to the top of the key or the wing. We'll be able to knock down them shots. All right. Now, for your playmaking badges, your playmaking badges, you want to go bail out just in case you take a bad shot. Like you thought it was a good shot, and you, but it's really a bad shot. Your defender closes out on you and you want to pass out the ball. Uh, special delivery. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not special delivery. I'm tripping. Uh, needle threader, just so we can get those tough passes through. You know what I'm saying? Because our pass accuracy is not as high, but needle threader is going to help us get them tough passes through. And then, like I said, vice grip. Just so whenever you get the rebound, if you do get the rebound and that guard or anything, you center or lock is spamming you, you're not going to drop the ball because you're going to have vice grip on, all right? Now, for the defense of the badges, the money makers, you feel me? We get anchor on silver. Anchor on silver, that's what we need. Anchor is a very, very good badge when it comes to chase downs. So anchor on silver. You, you already want, you already know you're going to max out your clamps. Put menace on gold. Work horse on gold. Challenger on gold glove max that out so we can get the max amount of plex deals possible you feel me so we're gonna put our glove on uh hall of fame actually not gold <clears throat> chase down on gold so we can get the so we can get them chase downs like i said most guards most people rim run in this game this game is really all about rim running so we're gonna put our chase down on gold and then our interceptor on bronze interceptor is pretty ass this year but if you have it on bronze you you'll get them lanes bronze and like hall of fame is basically the same all right and if you get the plus four uh if you get plus four on your if you get uh after you do your quest and you get the plus four you can go ahead and put your interceptor up if you really wanted to but i really don't feel like it's needed you don't need pick dodger most people just iso in this game if you wanted to you could uh increase your challenger increase your menace workhorse whatever it is but if i if i got my plus four i'd probably increase my uh I probably increase my challenge probably increase my challenge when i put my plus four all right these are the defensive badges right here the playmaking badges the shooting badges right here and the finishing badges right here i'm gonna go back through it one more time you could pause the video get them all down look at them i appreciate and love every single one of y'all y'all like the video leave a comment leave a comment leave a comment if you love your mama subscribe if you do let me know what else builds y'all want me to drop next i'm probably gonna drop a dribble tutorial tomorrow or sometime soon this week Y'all stay on the lookout for that. Go sub up to the channel. We're on the road to 60,000 subs. And hey, go follow my Uncle HK channel. We're going to be uploading two to three times a day on there. A whole bunch of different content. So go follow my Uncle HK channel. We're on the road to 10,000 subs on there. It's going to be more content than just 2K. It's going to be reactions to YouTube videos, music videos, TikToks, whatever it is that y'all want me to react to. Everything and anything will be on that channel. I really do appreciate and love every single one of y'all for all the support going into 2K24. We're going to be trying to daily upload all the way to 2K24. You guys stay on the lookout for all the uploads. Leave a comment, leave a comment, leave a comment down below if you like your mama. Probably if you knew, been everybody's favorite uncle on YouTube, your uncle HK.